to hear of Andy Good, London Wasp full, uh, fly half, head of the new season. Uh, looking back at last season, how did you rate your team performance as well as your own performance? Um, very similar, actually. We uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, some really good games and some some uh, average games as well. I think getting into the Champions Cup next year in Europe, winning that seventh place playoff at the end of last season against Stade Français, masked an average season for us. But um, you know, it was a success at the end of the day because we achieved our goal of of making the top tier of the European rugby. Um, you know, we want to improve on that this year um, and get better as a team, as a squad, um, and obviously as, a, as an individual player, being part of a successful unit at Wasps is uh, something that drives me. And um, our goals will be hopefully finishing the top six again this year to back that Champions Cup up. And um, you know, really looking forward to a big season. And Wasps last won the title in 2008. Do you think there's there's a period where now they're going to start working towards going back at the top top four? Yeah, obviously, there's uh, the club's been through a lot of change over time. Uh, a lot of those old guard retired in, in, in that era of 2008 and the club had to rebuild and obviously had some off-field troubles financially as well. Uh, we've got a brilliant owner now in Derek Richardson um, who's really secured the club um, and we're sort of flying forward as a club now commercially off the field and trying to grow on it. Um, you know, as a squad, we're, we've got a lot of good young talent within that group. Joe Launchbury, Christian Way, those sort of guys, Matt Mullen, um, you know, a lot of good young players coming through with the core of the squad. Um, you know, we've filtered in a few old guys like myself, and we can hopefully try and continue to build on the success over the last few few seasons in, in rebuilding the club and, and continue to grow forward. And just how important was it to end on a high with that Champions Cup qualification at the end of last season? Well, it's brilliant, obviously, to, to have a, a two-legged effectively final at the end of the season gave us something massive to play for. Um, some seasons peter out, even you know when you're finishing sixth. You know, you've achieved your goal in the last couple of games don't mean as much as they can do, but you know, for us those two games meant everything. Uh, we worked exceptionally hard, it had a great win over in Paris and it was, really was a great way to finish the season, finished on a high and uh, we've come back in in pre-season now and there's a good buzz around the place and um, you know, we know that we didn't achieve our goal directly last year through finishing the top six, but we got through the back door um, and a lot of hard work will be needed to improve upon last season and go forward. And you were part of a highly successful Leicester Tigers squad. Um, they won a lot of trophies. How important would it be for you to finish your career the last few years to get another trophy and be right at the top of the game again? Yeah, definitely. I think you know any rugby player that says they play just to play the game is a, isn't telling the truth. You know, you play every year to try and be in that final. You know, every player should be watching on that Saracens Northampton final at Twickenham last year. Uh, sorry, in May, uh, wanting to be part of it. That's why you play. You play to win. No other reason. Um, you know, and you want to be successful in everything you do. And each team has their own individual goals that makes them successful. But playing the finals is where you want to be. And uh, you know, obviously disappointed last year. We lost in the semi-final of the Amelin Challenge as well. Um, you know, to play in those finals would have been great. But you know, as I'm coming, getting older and older by the day, and uh, don't know how many years you've got left, you want to be playing the big games, and um, that's the motivation throughout pre season and throughout the year to achieve those goals. And you're one of the leading scorers in Premiership history. Um, how has the number 10 role changed since throughout your career, the last sort of 10 15 years? Uh, well, the game's changed massively, and as a 10, you've got to change with it. Defences are, are a lot tighter now. Um, in terms of letting line breaks through and stuff like that. So much more physical now. The, the power of these young guys coming through is quite frightening at times. Um, so my, my job is to avoid as much of that as possible. Uh, but managing the game, you know, game management is key as a fly half. You know, getting your team in the right position on the field, playing the right areas, making the right calls. Um, in, in that sense, they get a, a tens role will always be the same, but you have to evolve with the game knowing different moves, different weaknesses and strengths of oppositions and how to exploit them. Um, you know, I think as a 10, that's the nature of your game and, and obviously your kicking game on top of that. So um, you, you work on every facet of your game and training and hope you make the right options and get your, your team in the right positions at the weekends. And, uh, you know, you might score a lot of points, but there's nothing more important than the next game. And that's, uh, that's the way to focus as a 10. Thank you very much, Andy. Best of luck for the rest of the season.